I'm Isaac Zachter with Twit, and today we're going to give you a quick tip. You know, on Know How, we've gotten a ton of emails after we did our Hackintosh episode. In that episode, we showed you how to take OS X and put it on a PC. A bunch of you guys wrote in and said, hey, how do I run Windows on a Mac? And after this quick tip, you'll know how. Apple's made it really easy to run Windows on your Mac. They even include a tool built into OS X called Boot Camp, and that's going to tell you exactly what you have to do to install Windows on a Mac. Let's go ahead and try to do that. So the tool is called Boot Camp, and what we're going to do is a real quick spotlight search for it. You can actually find it in your Applications folder under the Utilities folder, but why bother doing that when you can search for it? Boot Camp. There it is, Boot Camp Assistant. Now you can see here it says it helps you install Windows on any Intel based Mac. Now if you bought a Mac in the past, I don't know, five years or so, you definitely have an Intel based Mac. So you probably can do this. We're going to print our instructions. Very exciting. I'm actually going to print it to my iPad because I like not killing trees. So on my iPad here I have my boot camp installation and setup guide. Yeah, it looks long, but it's really like four steps. It's going to be really simple. Let's go ahead and continue with our install. So what Bootcamp needs to do is you need to download the latest Windows support. The thing is, this is a PC, it's running Intel, it's got a whole bunch of things going there, but you're going to need drivers on the Windows side. That's what this part's gonna do. You're also gonna set up a partition so you have a home for your Windows install. I'm gonna save to an external drive, which is my thumb drive. We're gonna send it to for the boot because it's so clever. So right now, OS X is grabbing the support software from the internet. It's gonna take a while to download and then it's gonna be put on that external drive for you to use later. So now we're gonna create a partition for Windows. Now one of the cool things about Boot Camp is it's non-destructive. You shouldn't need to reinstall OS X. What this tool is gonna to let you do is take a portion of the hard drive and allocate that to Windows. I'm gonna give Windows 50 gigabytes because why not? We're gonna hit install. So we got an error, it says the installer disk can't be found. You know what, that's a good assistant because I haven't taken it out of the box yet. If you're gonna install Windows 7 on a device like this, you're gonna need the full copy of Windows 7. So we're gonna wait for the disk to spin up and then hopefully Boot Camp Assistant will actually see the disk now that I've put it in the machine. All right, so it's gonna take a while to partition our hard drive because again, Windows needs a home somewhere. I've already got a cup of coffee. You know, we should check out what's in this space. This is Twit's basement actually. Look, we got, we got shelves. Look, this shelf is empty. This shelf for Alex is don't touch. I'm touching the shelves, putting my coffee cup right there. Oh look, it's Leo Laporte's ZDTV badge. What else is in here? Microphone stands. Light panels, this is good, you know, good for lighting. I like that. And as we all know at Swit, we always have test tubes for random tests. What do we have these? Now partitioning the disk took a total of like one minute. It was super fast, way faster than installing the Windows support software. Now the machine is gonna restart and we're gonna try to install Windows. Read and carefully follow these instructions for installing Windows on your Mac. Okay, install Windows. Sounds easy enough. Let's hit install now. Now if you're looking at your Apple guide right here, can you actually see that? Yep. You'll see that this window is actually singled out because you need to know where you're going to install Boot Camp and obviously Partition Boot Camp is where you want to put this. You can notice that it has 46.8 gigabytes. I partitioned it for about 50. It seems like it was allocated a bit that way. So we're going to pick Boot Camp because that's where we want Windows to install. It says here Windows cannot be installed to disk zero partition four because the instructions from Apple say hit drive options what we gotta do is format this drive. Here we go, now we have the full Windows install happening and we can just, I don't know, go for a long walk I guess because this should take a while. Come on, let's, let's go take a walk. Let's go, wait, there's a random person here. It's a Karsten. <sighs> this is a nice place, you know? I can get used to, to working around here. You can stay here though, Tony. Now we had a tense couple of minutes when the Windows installer was stuck at 0%. All we did was we remained calm. Don't panic because 10 minutes later, look, we're at 78% already if it's installing and expanding your Windows files. Take a breather, come back. It's probably taking its sweet time. 
So we're taking a look at Windows on a MacBook Pro and you can see that it looks kind of awful because Windows needs drivers so it can actually support everything that's in this machine and that's why we have our USB key that we made earlier. We're going to go into Explorer and we're going to go to our USB key which we called for the boot. It's Windows support. And we're going to run setup. Okay, now we're at the boot camp installer. Now you'll be guided through everything. If you can read, you can do this. So you can see here what hardware is being installed or driver support being installed on this uh, version of Windows. It's going to have support for things like your Wi-Fi, your, your, obviously your Ethernet, your networking, your EyeSight camera, your trackpad. All this hardware is going to work as well as it should on Windows. Oh good, we have audio. You can hear the audio is working because the audio drivers were installed. That's great. Now we have Windows. Let's run something you can't run on OS X, Internet Explorer. Now remember, this is a new install of Windows, so it's not going to have any of your settings necessarily. Not like your Wi-Fi passwords are going to be stored here. You're going to have to start over. So we're setting our network location, standard things that you're used to when it comes to Windows. We're going to hit close. We're connected to our network, and the first thing we're going to do with Internet Explorer is we're going to see if it works. Okay, so once this machine restarts, I'm going to want to use this in OS 10. But how do we do that? I'm going to go to start, going to look for boot. There's boot camp right there. Do we want boot camp? Yes, we want it to do things. You have a boot camp control panel. You can decide what startup disk to go to on your next restart. I want it to start up with Macintosh HD, which is our OS 10 install. I hit restart. I want to restart the machine. And it should go into OS 10 momentarily. So we got OS 10 running. We're going to go into our normal OS 10 install that we're used to. Now, if you're in OS 10 and you want to restart into Windows, you just go into System Preferences. You're going to go into Startup Disk, and you're going to hit Boot Camp. Then you could restart, and it'll go into Windows. There's one more way to choose which operating system to boot into. If you shut your machine down, you're going to hit Power, hold down the Option button as the computer starts up. And here you can see that you can either start into your Macintosh HD, your Windows uh, partition, or even the recovery disk that's built into Mountain Lion at this point. We're going to choose Windows. Choose an operating system. Let's do Windows 7. Sounds like a winner to me. And there you go. Then you can start Windows right from there. So you have lots of different ways to get into Windows once you've set this all up. So this whole project took about an hour and a half to take care of everything. There was the partitioning, there's a download of the support software, there was the actual installation. So it'll take a bit of time, but once you're done, you'll know how to run Windows on your Mac.